Hi friends, welcome to Bowl of Light Yoga. I'm Danielle. This is a short intermediate practice which would be great for your lunch break or to get going in the morning. You won't need any props to do this practice. However, if you like to pad your knees, I recommend a blanket and you might want a block or two for Ardha Chandrasana. So let's get started. We'll begin on hands and knees in tabletop position today. So find your wrists underneath your elbows, knees underneath your hips here, and just kind of move intuitively. Just find some movement that feels good in your body. Just taking a few moments here to connect with the body. Scan your body, looking for areas of tension. Just take a moment to tap in. See what messages your body has for you today. And let's come to stillness here. And to connect with our breath, we'll move through some cat-cow movements. So on the inhale, let's pull heart through shoulders. It's crown of head and tailbone flare up to the sky. And as you exhale, crown of head and tailbone release towards the earth. Sternum draws up and in. Inhaling for cow. Exhale, rounding to cat. Let's do two more here. Inhaling. And exhaling. Last one, inhale to cow, exhale, rounding to cat. Let's take big toes together, knees wide, sit back on your heels as you stretch your arms forward for child's pose. Let's take a few deep breaths here, maybe setting an intention for your day or for this practice. And move back through tabletop here, tucking your toes under, pressing up to downward facing dog. You pedal out your legs here, especially if this is your first down dog of the day. Shake your head, yes and no. Let's come to stillness. You lift your right leg up as high as it will go, turn your hips to the right, bend your knee, maybe looking under your right arm here. And then let's inhale, square the hips, pull your knee into your chest, rounding through your upper back, set right foot down between your hands, lower your back knee. If you have blocks and you'd like to use them here to help find some length in your low lunge. Let's take a full deep breath here. And then straighten the front leg as you begin to shift back over your back bent knee, folding forward over your front leg, toes facing the ceiling. We'll take a full breath here. And let's move forward back into low lunge again. Right hand to the block or to your hip. Left arm comes up and over for a nice side stretch on the left. Left hand comes back down. Set your blocks off to the side if you have them. Tuck your back toes and step your right foot back to meet your left and downward facing dog again. Let's inhale, left leg up as high as you can lift it, then open your hips, bend your knee, maybe look under your left arm here. Inhale as you square your hips to the floor, and as you exhale, tuck your knee into your chest, rounding your upper back. Left knee comes, left foot comes between your hands, right knee lowers down, 
and find your low lunge on this side. Take a full breath here. And then begin to shift back over your bent knee, pulling your toes towards the ceiling and folding over your front leg. Taking a full breath here. And then we'll come forward into low lunge again. Left hand to the block or to your hip, right arm reaches up and over for a side stretch on the right. Right arm comes back down. You can set your blocks off to the side. Hands come to frame your foot. Tuck your back toes under if they're not already. Lifting your back knee up off the floor and we'll step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Let's just keep it square to the floor this time. Exhale, tuck your knee into your chest. Right leg comes between your hands. We'll stay up for high lunge this time. Inhale, arms come up and overhead. And as you exhale, settle into your high lunge. Legs are energetically hugging towards each other. Your core is engaged. Let's begin to lower your left hand to the floor. Take it to the outside of your mat for a wide, easy twist. Right arm reaches up and you begin to shine your heart up to the sky. Lower right hand to the floor here. And you can launch off your back leg, coming up to standing splits, balancing on your right leg. Tuck your chest into your chin as you move your forehead towards your knee. We'll take left foot and return it to the back of the mat for runner's lunge. Right foot will step back to meet it in downward facing dog. Inhale with left leg, keeping it square to the mat. And as you exhale, tuck your leg into your chest. Step your foot forward here for high lunge on the left side. Inhaling arms lift. Exhale, settle into your lunge. Make sure your shoulders are drawing down your back away from your ears, lifting through your upper body while letting your lower body sink towards the earth. Let's take the right hand to the outside of the mat for a wide, easy twist, shining your heart up to the sky, letting your left hand come up and over. Full deep breaths. Lower left hand to the floor. Launch off of your back foot here for standing splits on the left leg. Tucking your chin into your chest. Core is still engaged. And we'll just set your right foot down at the top of the mat for forward fold. Very slowly roll up to Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Let's come into Tree Pose. So let's <clears throat> balance on your left foot here. Bring your left foot to like the center of your mat. Balancing on your left foot, spreading all your toes wide, weight evenly distributed in your left foot, finding your tree variation, however that looks for you. It's coming up to tree. Inner thigh is squeezing against your foot, the sole of your foot, 
That dynamic opposition there is helping balance. We'll transition to warrior two through warrior three. So begin to straighten your right leg out behind you as you begin to lower your upper body to parallel to the floor. And then bend into your front leg as you step your right foot back for warrior two. I still have my rug here, so I'm just gonna move my blanket. Coming into warrior two. You're gonna find a 90 degree bend in your front leg, back toes, are pointing directly ahead or maybe even a little bit in, looking forward over your arm, your front hand. Let's take a full deep breath here. And then begin to shift forward for extended side angle so you can bring your forearm to your knee or your hand to the earth or to a block. And right arm comes up and over, bicep is in line with the ear. Maybe try and bend deeper into your front leg here. Cartwheel, right arm down, around and up. Straighten your front and bent leg, left hand comes up and over. For reverse trikonasana here, nice side body stretch. And then come back to center for triangle. I have to adjust my stance a little bit for triangle. Shift your hips out to the back, hands reach forward, and then folding for triangle. Finding equal length on both sides of your torso here. So if that means you need a block, no shame, get yourself a block. Take your block here, if you like it, for Ardha Chandrasana. Set it at the top of your mat. Coming back up to warrior two. And then we'll come down to half moon pose. So you're gonna lower your hand to your block. Back leg kicks up off the mat. Or rotate it open to the side. Toes of your extended leg are facing the side wall. Gaze can be up to the sky or down to the earth. Take one more deep breath here. And then folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, down, around, and up. Hands to heart center. Let's do that on the other side. So right foot will come to the center of your mat here, facing forward for Vrikshasana, tree pose. So find your tree pose, whichever leg variation is right for you today. Find a non-moving point of focus to help steady your balance. And then we'll move through warrior three to warrior two. Extending your back leg out behind you, pushing firmly through your heel. Toes are facing the earth. And then warrior two. And find that 90 degree angle in your front knee. Front knee is directly over front ankle and it's tracking over the center of your foot. Let's take one more nice deep breath here. And we'll come into extended side angle. Again, your options, hand to your knee, to the floor, or to a block. See if you can bend a little deeper into your front leg.
cartwheel your top hand down around, <laughs> around and down as your front hand comes up and over. Bent leg straightens for a reverse triangle. And coming back to center, you can adjust your stance if you need for triangle here. Shift your hips back, arms come forward, then lower right hand towards the earth, left hand to the sky. Make sure you're not locking out your front knee here. Keep a little micro bend in your front leg. Inner thighs are still energetically moving together. Coming back up to warrior two, having your blocks still at the top of the mat for Ardha Chandrasana if you'd like, lower right hand to the earth as left leg kicks up, right hand reaches towards the sky, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Lower left foot in as you fold in for Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, arms sweep down, around and up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Sink your hips back as though you're sitting in a chair here. Let's take a moment in Utkatasana, chair pose. So your knees, if you look down, you should be able to see your toes. You should be able to lift your toes so that you know your weight is centered in your feet and not forward in your toes. Let's take two more deep full breaths here. Abs are engaged. And forward fold. Heel toe your feet out to the sides of your mat so that your toes are off the mat, your heels are on. Bend your knees, sinking your hips down to the earth for Malasana Yogi Squat. Tailbone is heavy to the earth here. Chest is open, heart shining forward. Shoulders are gently gliding down your back. Take a few deep breaths. Let's go ahead and sit back. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees fall open to the side for Baddha Konasana. Inhale, find some nice length in your spine, and exhale, begin to round forward. Gently begin to push your way back up if you folded forward. And make your way into Sukhasana, comfortable seated position for you to end your practice with a few minutes of seated meditation. I encourage you to stay in seated meditation for as long as you can. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.